What's up YouTube? Caselli Arts here in the studio and I got a lot of emails asking how do you manage your commissions versus your passionate work? You know, the work that you just want to do anyway. And I think it's a good question. It's not something I want to dwell on too much, but I thought it'd be a good chance to give you a studio tour. And one of the things I do when I try to manage things is I make lists. So what happens is the, the commissions start piling up, you know, um, your, your passionate work starts piling up and I find it helpful. It's a little old school, but make a list, write it down, cross it off, try to put them in order of what's priority and what's, you know, what can wait. And you can see I've got, I've got things that have been accomplished and then here's my new stuff I got to work on. So I find that helpful. And if you get overwhelmed, just make a list. And I know it's, it's probably, you probably heard that before, but make a list and just take it one, one step at a time. My mom used to say that, you know, just, just focus on one thing at a time. Um, these are some pieces that are, that are finished. So they're cast into plaster, bronze or resin. One of my first portraits here, Gabrielle. Um, and then these are the pieces that I'm working on. Now, it's probably smarter to work on one thing at a time and, and, and complete it. But I tend to work on a lot of things all at once. Um, and I don't know, that just, that just keeps me more inspired. So, uh, one of the, the benefits of that I find is that if I'm struggling with one thing, let's say in this figure, I might be struggling with the leg or the arm, I might find the answer in another, another figure, you know, maybe, maybe that figure, the anatomy helped me with this one. So, um, sometimes the answer can be found in something else. There's a little pencil sketch I'm doing of a man who, who's passed away. So I have to use very small blurry photographs for that. Um, got a, a young gentleman here, terracotta portrait, getting close on him. Um, there's a portrait in plastiline, which is oil-based clay. That's why it's that green color. And this will be, this is a commission that will be bronzed. I've got a, a figure that's a commission here. She will be um, bronzed as well. And she will have drapery eventually. I just really wanted to get the anatomy strong underneath the drapery first. Another portrait that's getting close. And portrait of Isaac Boyle who's a, a fine young artist. So that one was not a commission. Um, you can see my, my little nature library there with the skull. Here's my, my book library. Very important to have all your art books on hand. A little sketch I did. And there's more stuff. You know, there's other heads that <laughs> may or may not get cast some studies that are on the shelf. It's good to have a shelf when you're a sculptor. And I've got another shelf over here with my anatomical casts. Some of those are mine, some of these are antique. You know, my references. So I guess to answer that question about commissions versus passion work you know I'd say try to make your your commissions your passion you know it might sound idealistic but but why put out any commission that you're not that you're not proud of okay so I try not to think about the money um, while I'm working and just try to make it the best you can. Even if you're not getting paid much, even if you're not getting paid at all, because it's gonna be, 
the quality of your work that brings the business. The better you are, the less advertising you have to do. You don't have to do any BS, no song and dance. Just, just be a great artist and adhere to the principles that matter to you. And people will recognize that and they will hire you. So you got to have faith in that. And my teacher's teacher was Henry Henchy. He always said, let your paintings do the talking, okay? So let your artwork do the talking for you. And you'll be amazed how little advertising you have to do. So anyway, I hope this video helps. Again, if you're overwhelmed today, make that list. Start crossing them off. And it feels good to cross off those, those to-dos. All right. Peace out.